Hello and welcome back to the unbelievably messy shed. And here is some Christmas bells. Now the reason that these are here is if you can tell, this section of rope light is not illuminating and the person's asked me to change it. So we should go over how we do that now. So this is 240 volt filament. And so it's a filament rope light and it comes in sections. So you've got a section here and then you've basically got these two bus bars in the actual rope light and then the bulbs are in series across. So one's joined here and the other one is joined over... Uh, is it not illuminate anymore? It's about here somewhere. But these are in metre lengths. So you get these in a metre and they're cuttable every metre. So you would cut it there, cut it there. So the plan would be to cut it, cut out that section that's not lit and then fit a replacement section. And fortunately, you can buy them on eBay. So this is my eBay purchase. I've bought two meters. It's only a meter section that's out, but I've got two meters because you always get more than you need. And it's cut at that end, and you can see it's joined there onto that bus bar. Then it will run down, and at about a, a meter location somewhere along here, there'll be another. Oh yeah, there's a little cut point in there, a bit of scissors. But you can see it's terminated there. At the other end, so this is again 240, 230 volt um, rope light. So yeah, so you can cut these ends, and then they are joined together by these spiky things. So I've got two bags of these, because of, I guess because I've watered two meters, it's given me two bags, so fine. And then there's some sleeve that you put over it to make it waterproof. Although I'll put, put a bit of hot glue in there as well to keep it a bit more waterproof. But that's pretty much it. So we've got to work out what's... The positive end, negative end, and all that jazz, and cut it and fit the rope light. Now, the only other caveat is that thing is tungsten bulbs, and this thing is LEDs. And you see, there's resistors in here and LEDs, so I'm not sure how it will look being resistors and tungsten. It can be done because the two wires in here are just bus bars, so one meter doesn't affect the other meter of, of this light, it's you know completely independent. So it'll work, it's just whether it will look acceptable or not. But it's quite hard to get hold of the tungsten stuff because everything seems to be LEDs nowadays. So, right, cutting time. So the power comes in at this end of this section of where it's out. So I want to cut it here. No, I don't. I want to cut it at this side so that I can see, power it up and see which section is out here and then cut that out. So I want to cut it here just before the last the first tungsten light is lighting to here i think that makes sense then i'll be able to turn it on again and do the first tungsten light and that will double check that everything's working simple so a bunch of cable ties later and it is loose from the frame the section that's not lighting oh it's lighting now oh that's odd that must mean there's a break in it Oh, that makes my life a bit tricky, doesn't it? Hmm. Make a minute. You can actually hear the cogs in my head working because I'm thinking, can I just bend it and get it to work again? But that would be a bit bodgy. So there must be a broken section in there somewhere on the actual LEDs, on the actual filaments. But now I've moved it, it's disrupted it. How interesting. Hmm. As you can see, I didn't expect that. Oh, there you go. See, it stopped working now. If I do that. So if I just pinch it, it stops working. It's like that join there, isn't it? There you go. Well, it is broken then. Hmm. Okay, I'll have a think. Um, I could replace it anyway. It's going to have to be replaced. I can't fix it, can I? I can't get in there and solder it or anything. Okay, well, we'll, we'll take, we'll cut it out still. So if the, obviously with the power off, you just slice it through with a big pair of cutters at the actual break point. And uh, if I squeeze it again, you see that's the section that's out. 
So now I've got to cut it there. There. So, big cutters, and turn the power off first. Uh, oh, I can't do this one-handed. And here's my removes section. So, now it's just fit the barbs in the new one. And first of all, see if it lights up. So down in there, you can see the two wires, one there and one there. And we literally just get the two barbs here and just push them in to the wires. And that should make the connection. Like so. So they're just stuffed in and you sort of make sure that you get it down in the wires and that's what the connection is made in. Then I can shove that into that bit. Obviously, turn the power off first. Hmm. Well, it works, but there is a slight color difference, isn't there? Bugger. Hmm, let me think about this. See, what I'm now thinking is, oh, no, that won't work. I was thinking about cutting, removing the LEDs, um, the filaments, but no, that's a rubbish idea. Um, uh, do you think they'll notice? I think they will, won't they? Plus, this is quite flickery. Uh, it doesn't really show up on camera, but it is a little bit flickery. Um, oh, no. And there's the finished article. As you can see, it's fixed. But I do think they might notice the colour difference. It's a pain, isn't it? Um, yeah, I'm going to have to get some tungsten rope light in so uh, that has at least showed you how to do it and how you can replace these rope lights obviously you need to get the right type and not mix them so we've learned a lesson there haven't we but the other option is because this is where it's broken you can see where it's broken when it's sort of pushed the bulb focus so sort of push the bulb through the rope light focus there you go focus so focus so is it possible to scrape this plastic away and repair the broken joint uh, and then re-glue it probably not but is it worth a shot probably not but will I do it probably if I can't find any tungsten rope light when I have to try but for now that's it um, hopefully you won't see this again because I will get the new stuff and replace it off camera but yeah so enjoy thank you bye for now